doing all the sieges and everything. I might do just some spot washes of that green. dry. Bunch of different greens for orcs, yeah. Um, I know like back in the day, like GW's orcs were just very, very green. Um, it's pretty much kind of like what this color is. It's kind of like that classic kind of green, green tone. I painted my orcs when I did 40k, more like what these goblins look like. It's basically like, um, oh, what was the color? It was some green color, and then like a uh, what was the brown? Devlin Mud Wash, and then I just kind of reapplied the base color. Um, and it kind of made for like some dirty looking... Atypical style orcs. They were much more kind of rooted in reality as opposed to being like that bright green... You know, kind of fantasy in space sort of look that the early stuff had. Just kind of being loose with the wash here, I'm not too worried about. Getting it down to the, the recesses, because it is kind of a, a green brown color. I think I'll be able to to clean up any areas that get you know the wrong color in it. All right, so while that's all drying. Um. I think we can work back up some of this stuff here. Trying to leave a little bit of shadow in between the cloaking the sword there. Get these raised areas. I should really get my Bretonians out and finish painting the bowmen that I started. Let's see how quickly I can get these guys done. If that's the case, I might... Actually, what I need to do is finish up the three that I had started. Try and get those done that way there. Got a full unit of 12. That's so much stuff on my backlog to paint. It's just unbelievable. Got like a full shelf of 20 mil World War II to paint. I've got all of my unbuilt plastic kits. You know, 170 second plastic kits at my parents' place. I don't even have room for it here. I've got all the zombie side stuff to paint. I've got all the Black Plague zombie side stuff to paint. I will be getting Conan here pretty soon. I've got a bunch of 15 mil and heavy gear stuff to paint. I've got all my Reaper bones. It's like seven years of just collecting gaming stuff that eventually it gets painted, but there's only so much time in the day and when you're working and all that other kind of stuff, you know. It's not always time for it. Yeah, I might do... I might just do a little bit of that. That green, once all the stuff is dried here. Um, so let's see. What do I have just kind of kicking around that I can just kind of dick around with? I've got... This is the guy that I was working on uh, last stream. Is one of the, um, the post pot guys. Um, he's getting pretty pretty close to being finished. I'll probably finish him up off stream. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, and I got a new um, doing a new uh, holding system for those 15 mil guys. So these are just on nails. Then I've got a little uh, piece of two by four over here. My dad cut up for me, drilled some holes in. 
That's working out pretty well. Alright, so we got... A bit of... Primer still showing through. That guy there, so we'll let, let him dry. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna go grab those, uh... Actually, I think they're right. They might be right here, hold on. Where are they? Right here? Nope. Nope. Nope, where are they? Down here? No. Ah, right here. There we go. One, two, three. But yeah, so I've got these guys here as well that I need to finish up. It's basically the command the command group, and I think they're probably, yeah, they've gotten all banged up and chipped. Just from being moved around and not ever finished, so I'll have to reapply some primer onto them. Um, but these are the old um, Bretonian Spearman command, and then I've got this guy from, I think he's a uh, Black Tree design. So he's a drummer. Yeah, so let me see. Um, I had some black primer out because I re. I had to touch up some of these. Uh, some of these goblins, they got a little dinged up. It's kind of one of the things, it's like if I prime something and then let it sit for a while, um, things end up getting chipped. Just gonna see if I can take some of this primer and work it back to paintable state here. I might just get some more. Like. Get his hat reprimed. There's a little bit on. Drum here that needs to be reprimed. That. Looks like these guys came out fairly well in terms of not getting chipped up too badly. Top of his standard got dinged a bit. I can start doing uh, commission painting. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the Black Plague stuff is actually really, really cool. Um, I don't think I have any of the zombies here because I think I took them down to my dad's. We were going to do some just batch painting at one time, so we got them all primed and sprayed and um, got those ready to go. Um, but I think I've got most of the the heroes and stuff here, and I think I actually painted a couple of the uh, the core game characters. I don't know where, know where those are. They might be kicking around here somewhere. They came up with this really cool method of painting the bases. It was kind of like, uh, like flagstones, which I think came out pretty well. Alright, so while that, while the goblins are drying, I know I can work on, I think it was flat red, then work on the white. So I'm actually probably going to work on the white first for these guys. Let the, uh, the shade on the goblins dry. So I'm going to take, uh, this is pale gray-blue, and work that up. Yeah, spare cash. It's a way to do it. So for this, I'm basically going to kind of paint this gray blue on the quilted parts and leave the dark gray uh, down in the recesses here. such a tedious process on the other guys that I did. Painting white sucks, but I just kind of came up with an approach that said I'm not worried about these being, like, perfect on the tabletop. I just want it to be, you know, to make it look like it's kind of quilted, so I'm kind of putting the paint on a little heavy. And everything's not, like, perfectly blended, but it, it gives it the end look is really kind of what I'm driving for. 
some high contrast on rank and file models is actually kind of useful. A little more water. Let's paint here. That's better. You just kind of see I'm working my way around, leaving the, the dark gray down in the recesses. And once I actually put the white on, this will really pop. What I might do is I might go grab one of the older models that I painted, just so that I can kind of see how much um, how much gray I need to be leaving, because I might be leaving a little too much. I'm not sure. Give me a second here. Let's see what do we got? You got Blood Bowl stuff. Let's see here. Open day part one. Oh, the footballs are cool. Okay, so there's the dwarves. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Skaven with the throwing, the tail, that's pretty cool. Works humans. Yeah, I've seen the Lord of the Rings guy, that's pretty cool. The old catapult ballista looking thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so these are the um this is the first batch of guys that I had painted. These are actually, um, what do you call them, miniatures? Uh, Black Tree Design, I think is what they are. Um, but I think I'm not too far off on the, uh, the color, you know, in terms of leaving the gray. So, it's basically, you can kind of see the, the next step would be going with pure white on top of that. So, and I just do one color on the red. I don't bother with the second highlight. So I really like this is that um this is that ochre. That uniform brown and green ochre color on the the gambeson on this guy. I think it turned out really well. There's some fun models to paint. These guys have some super great character on them. Uh their faces are very well sculpted. They take take shading really well. And they help break up the uh the kind of single pose that you get from the uh the old Citadel GW Tonians. You know, these guys here. Because they're, they're all pretty much the same pose, so. These are fun to paint. And then I've got a bunch of, um, I've got some archers in here too. So I've got like, these guys are going to be blue and yellow. So I've got the, pretty much almost all of their uniform stuff painted. So like the blues and the yellows are painted. Um, I've just got to come in and, uh, you know, like, do the details on them. So I've got 12 of these guys going right now. So, like, all the, the wood, the belts, and then, um, like, there's some bits and pieces, like, shoes that still need to be done. This one, I, I love the way this guy's, uh, this gambeson turned out. I can't for the life of me remember what colors I used, but I think it turned out pretty well. These are the old metal uh, Bretonian archers, which I think are some of the best best models that are available in that Bretonian line. Those kind of thing. And the other cool thing is that um, there are other, there's another manufacturer called Front Rank Miniatures, and they make uh, Hundred Years War archers and they fit in like dead perfectly with uh, the Bretonian stuff. So the guy on the right is, um, what do you call it? Front rank miniatures. And then the guy 